Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and uh, you guys know about the rumors and the leaks and everything around the emulators for Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, you know, we've been talking about it for a few days, uh, and it's looking pretty legit anyways, it looks like these are systems that are likely going to come to Nintendo Switch Online, but what if I told you a platform that I think I can universally say all hardcore longtime Nintendo fans have been dying to see on either virtual console, Nintendo Switch Online, or any other form from Nintendo, even a mini console like they did with an NES and SNES Mini. I, this is a system that I think everyone's been wanting. What if I were to tell you there is a chance, a maybe more than likely chance, that uh, it's going to be coming to Nintendo Switch Online? What system are we talking about? GameCube. Why are we talking about GameCube? Because my good friend, Mike Perez, uh, pretty much gave us a nice juicy rumor to talk about today in GameCube coming to Nintendo Switch Online and coming by the end of 2023. Now, you might go, but Nate, why should we care about what Nintendo Academy has to say? And I'll just say this. I don't know who his sources are on this, of course. He's not going to divulge those details. However, Mike Perez has had contact and interviews with Nintendo employees. How? I don't know, but they're literally on his channel. You can go watch them for yourself. So, clearly he knows some people, and that's all I can really say about it. But he, how did I find out about this information? It wasn't just something that like Mike was talking to me about in private. He brought it up himself on the Nintendo Prime podcast yesterday and shocked all of us. Here, take a listen. Please. Mm -hmm. I'm with Nintendo Online. And I'm going to put a cherry on top called GameCube. Mm. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Oh, no, no. You're, you're going to a place Nintendo seems afraid to go. Yeah, right. Nah, they're going to go there. They're going to go there. going to go there. Why, why, what makes you think they're going to go there anytime soon? I got my sources. Huh? Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. Ooh. The voice of Peach is telling you too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning too much, damn it. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. So uh, are, we, are we getting a little bit of an exclusive news drop right yeah, here? Right, a little right, exclusive right. rumor? I got, I got my sources, dude. I got my sources. I got to keep it yeah. quiet. Cause yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, you yeah, got to yeah, keep it quiet well, so you mention it on a public podcast. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You literally might have just no, gave no, me my you, video you, for the morning. Thank you. No, no, you must <laughs> give us your sources, obviously. No, no, you me, God. <laughs> but but if I do make a video tomorrow, I do apologize for the attention that comes your way that helps you get to ten thousand subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I believe wholeheartedly, yeah. It's, it's, it's not only well, I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mark this point in the video so I know to go yeah, back right, to it. Right, I might right, need right. to clip that out for right. I'm sorry. Right. When when I when I hear Nintendo Academy tells me he's got his sources, right, I, right. I'm starting to think I, I I have a nice little ten minute speculation video dropping tomorrow. But I mean, first I got to cover GameCube because that's just that's just huge. If you notice how we how he quickly made us gloss away from oh, the yeah, GameCube yeah. stuff, right, right, right. <laughs> and by the way, yeah, if yeah. I, I've got my own sources. Uh, GameCube's happening. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, right. Yeah, by the way, anyways, moving on. Yeah, um, yeah, but by the way, look at that shady thing over there. So GameCube. <laughs> um, so I obviously don't know who your sources are, and I'm not going to bother you. That's that's, yeah. that's your own private stuff. I I trust you enough yeah. to not just put out any random fake crap you hear on the internet because there's a bunch of that bullshit out there. You know, there's a possibility that the Game Boy might be uh, part of the of the first tier. Yeah, I, I I think a lot of people kind of assume Game Boy Game Boy Color could be that. Game yeah. Boy Advance would be like the expansion. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. It could all be part of that though, and if they're going to add GameCube in, that could be the expansion mm. too. Because like Game Boy Advance, you know, you can kind of liken that similar to the Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. But I had a completely different idea on that one. What, what, what do you got? What do you got? So, looking at the N sixty four NSO release was in September. Yeah, they, they've so, done it every. It's been a September for every time they've announced. So it, it pushed Xenoblade Chronicles up. Yeah, but the, <laughs> and then you get then you get your. Uh, I don't think NSOs. they've ever. I don't think they've ever pushed <laughs> pushed the September I'm, I'm, game yeah, for. I'm NSO. joking. I'm joking. I don't joking. think that's ever happened. But hey, it is, it is but funny. Game no, Boy. Out, game Boy cleared the way. Yeah. No, 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 why? It's because GameCube's coming yeah, in. It's such GameCube's a big deal. Can't. Right, right, right. We need to clear right. September yeah, out. Yeah. For the 32 million that are subscribed to NSO, you other 70 plus million, right, fuck right, you. Right, we don't right. care that you actually want to play new games. Right. We care about the 32 million that might maybe have like a million of you try out one. Of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, um, saying it's true, I mean, that'd be awesome. But I was actually thinking instead of GameCube, I could see him pairing along with the Game Gear because Ooh. they did the Genesis already. And that's kind of in that same ballpark of Game Boy, Game Gear, you know, those handhelds, kind of the same time frame. So that would be interesting. Be- and, and by the way, we had no rumors on Genesis. So if Game Gear is coming, we it's, it's not like we'd even know. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're building up little by little. I, I I expect from here, two years from now, we're gonna have uh, all all the 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 retro consoles. When I mean retro. It's from, let's say, GameCube and down. Every mm-hmm. single console that came from GameCube and down, plus the Wii. And, and, uh, and, mm-hmm. and then, and then um, from here to two years, that's what I, what I feel like we're going to see. I don't, that's insane. I, I, what, I don't think, what are I don't your sources saying? When's GameCube dropping? Is that this year or next year? I don't know. Some, you don't know? Yeah. You mean, you mean you're just unwilling to say? One day. <laughs> I, 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 one I day. hope... <laughs> So I you know I'm fishing. I got to fish. I got I got to cast the he's, line. He's shooting a shot. Trying to get like a little extra. De- like, look, if we're getting Game be, Boy this year, are they somehow dropping hey, GameCube as well? I'm just going to blow our mind. Could that's be four what, years I, from that's now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Could be four years from now, but he'll look back and say, see, I no, called no, it four no, years no. ago. To be fair, he said, hey, yeah. hey, if we read into what he said, he said within the next couple of years, yeah. GameCube yeah. and Wii. Yeah, true, true. Now, he never said he had a source on Wii, so that could just be speculation. Yeah, but yeah. but do you remember Do you remember how, how they introduced the Nintendo 64? I don't know. They just dropped it. Yeah, they just they 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 dropped the Nintendo sixty four, and all of a sudden they go whoop, and they brought the the Genesis right yeah, next to it. Yeah. Nobody was expecting it, mm-hmm. so you can expect something similar to that. Mm-hmm. Game so, Boy, oh, okay. yeah. I mean, are, are, are you telling me this based on sources or speculation? I'm all confused yeah. now. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> happening. I'm 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 in I'm in La La Land, and I just see Mike over there as being like so careful at like what oh, yeah. can I say, oh, no, what for can sure, I not for sure. say. Yeah, I don't I don't want to. I mean, hold on, let me let me let me. Where's my phone? Yeah, I don't right. want to. Yeah, I probably got like ten texts away. Dude, what are you doing? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so as you heard from Mike, it's obvious that uh, he does know something about GameCube, and he he sort of hinted that you know you're gonna you're, they're gonna do something like they did with N64, where it's like here's Game Boy, and then bring in you know gamecube and the other the key thing to note here is mike was being very very careful in even saying what he said uh but he essentially was saying look we're getting gamecube not when we're gonna get it but the gamecube is coming and he's pretty confident in it now this is a rumor. I do not know his sources. I cannot verify them. This is just based on a trust level I have with Mike Perez to not spread misinformation intentionally when he is the actual source of this information, or at least the source that we hear it from. So uh, he does mention, you know, within a couple of years, he expects to see GameCube and we. So that does give us sort of a window here, you know, that we can see GameCube and maybe we he didn't note that he actually has a source on Wii. So that could just be his speculation. That's why we're sticking with GameCube. Maybe he does have a source on Wii and he just really wasn't uh, willing to confirm that because, again, he was being very careful. And I know some, you know, Mike could be a funny guy. Some people think he was joking when the podcast ended. He wasn't joking. Uh, I, I, I'm you know, not divulging any specific details, but he, he legitimately has a source on this. So uh, the way that I look at this is this. Look, if Nintendo wants to bolster their Nintendo Switch online service, uh, adding a bunch of consoles is obviously a major way to do it. Getting GameCube on there would be a massive feather in the cap of Nintendo Switch online because that's never happened with virtual console. For everyone who says, I'd rather have virtual console, but let me give you some stuff that you never had on virtual console before like gamecube would be a very enticing reason for people to get it and we all know gamecube would be part of the expansion pass and some people would argue gamecube could make the expansion pass worth the extra money especially if they give you some of the highest quality gamecube games the luigi's mansion you get some more resident evil 4 in that mix you get wind waker in that mix you obviously get uh mario sunshine and all of the rest could really really make that package look more enticing especially when we consider the fact that all of the online games i mean god imagine they get rogue squadron rogue leader on there like imagine that all those online games or all those multiplayer games now have online multiplayer imagine super smash bros melee is back officially 
from Nintendo with online play. Like that would be so huge and many people would consider that well worth the price of admission, let alone the fact that Nintendo would release wireless uh, GameCube controllers. We actually talked about that a bit on the podcast, but Nintendo would obviously have wireless GameCube controllers. I don't know if they would look exactly like the Wavebird. Nintendo did lose a lawsuit over the Wavebird back in the day, so it's possible they can't go with that exact design, but they could just take the normal GameCube controller as it is and just make it wireless. Uh, So I don't know. Nintendo obviously has a lot they could do here, and that does make the price look a bit more enticing, in addition to the fact that we get DLC with it. Now, obviously, this doesn't make Nintendo Switch Online suddenly this amazing service when we're missing basic functionality, you know, no no ability to message people, let alone localized voice chat. Like, those are kind of the two big ones. Some people talk about themes. Themes wouldn't really be part of Nintendo Switch Online. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I... And some people are obviously never going to be okay with paying to play online, even though you have to do that on PlayStation and Xbox. It doesn't mean that people like it. Some people feel strong armed into it. In fact, I do wonder of the 32 million people last reported from Nintendo subscribed to Nintendo Switch Online, how many of them would stay subscribed if they didn't have to be to play Smash and Splatoon 2 and Mario Kart Online and stuff like that. But uh, obviously, Nintendo is looking to bolster this. This is their. Not, I wouldn't say their version of Game Pass, because Game Pass not only has the old library, but really the selling point of Game Pass is new games, day one, MLB The Show, day one, Halo Infinite, day one, um, Starfield, day one. Like That's really the selling point of Game Pass, but um, PlayStation has their own little subscription service uh, for classic games. Some of those classic games are local that you can download. Some of them are streaming. Uh, this is kind of like that, and it's interesting because Nintendo kind of creates apps around it. Uh, where you download an app for a system and then you play the games through that app. Uh, It's going to be quite interesting. Obviously, we all know about the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance stuff, but GameCube, to me, that is the one that gets us the most excited here at Nintendo Prime because GameCube was my high school days. That's how old I am. GameCube was a high school system for me, uh, and I love it. We came out after I already graduated, so... uh, I know there'll be some people in our audience where we was their high school system. Not here. I was already fully an adult and almost able to legally drink when that system dropped. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this rumor down in the comments below. Again, it is a rumor. As much as I trust Mike, I'm not even out here saying that this is going to happen 100%. But I will say that, hey, Mike Perez is a good buddy of the channel. And, uh... When he says he's got sources, I can believe it. And you could just look at his channel and see that he's interviewed Nintendo employees uh, in the past. It doesn't mean any of those employees are the source, but it just lends some credence to who he is. This isn't just a random person on Twitter. We don't know. We can't verify anything in their background besides, oh, did they say something? Did that something come true? We can look at Mike and go, hey, not only is he out in front of people using his real name, Uh, By the way, we can actually verify that he has talked to Nintendo employees before because it's on his damn channel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jads, and I will catch each and every one of you in the next video.